Moncrief. Uh, November was uh, Lung Cancer Awareness Month uh, last month, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I attended a morning tea hosted by Lung Foundation Australia to help build awareness and reduce the stigma of lung cancer. Sadly, lung cancer claims the life of one Australian every hour, a terrible statistic. As part of the morning, we heard from local patient uh, Michael Itell about his lung cancer journey and the impact it had on his life. What I learned about that morning was the stigma that surrounds lung cancer, the sentiment that lung cancer is self-determined. Mikhail is a non-smoker and because of the symptoms, which are little known, it is truly a silent killer. It's estimated that in 2019, 12,800 Australians have and will be diagnosed with lung cancer. It's the leading cause of cancer deaths in Australian men and women. On the Gold Coast, 351 people are diagnosed and 245 people sadly lose their battle each year. The morning tea hosted at Narang Bicentennial Centre was a good opportunity to discuss a number of issues for cancer sufferers, including the need to improve access to early diagnosis, reduce the stigma for people living with lung cancer and to improve psychosocial support. Uh, the Morrison government has recently announced $960,000 uh, and also added three more medications to the PBS which assist in lung cancer treatment. Treatments. This disease affects the patients, uh, but it also has a traumatic effect on the lives of family and friends. And I would like to uh, send uh, my best wishes for Christmas for any of those people suffering lung cancer and their families, uh, and wish them a, a, a time with their family over Christmas and a safe New Year. Thank you very much.